The Houston Rockets finished with the worst record for the second consecutive year. While there were plenty of lows during the season, there were some things to feel good about with this young team. They had three rookies that got significant playing time this year in Jalen Green, Alperin Shangoon, and Josh Christopher, and the returns were more than exceptional. Jalen Green had a very slow start, but turned it around during the last two months of the season. The Rockets had one of the worst defenses in the league, and their biggest struggles were in the paint. With the position that the Rockets are in with the third pick, and with most teams having a three big man at the top, this should be an easy choice for the Rockets. Just pick the big man that is left on the board. With the third pick in the draft, the Houston Rockets select Paolo Bancaro from Duke University. Bancaro is a modern day NBA player with size and skill set to score from all over the court. Physically and mentally, he's ready to compete right now in the NBA. He has great mobility and is very well coordinated, has good handles for his size, and has a nice mid-range game with a smooth release. He can get defenders off balance with his quickness, jab step, and brute strength, and he can finish around them with finesse. Ben Carroll thrives playing through contact and overpowers smaller defense. While defense is not one of his strengths at the moment, he does have all the tools needed to be at least solid on that end. His physical attributes are elite, and he has an excellent feel for the game. He was able to lead the Blue Devils to the Elite Eight against some great defenses. Paolo showed his full repertoire with some tremendous drives, passes, and shots from all over the court. When the team needed him to get aggressive down the stretch, he showed up. He was in attack mode and made key plays for his team. Son would say he looked like the number one pick in the draft. With the 17th pick, the Houston Rockets select Usman Jang from the New Zealand Breakers. This young stud stands at around 6'9", with a 7-foot wingspan, fluidity, and plays with an excellent feel for the game. He is very good off the bounce, a terrific passer, and can handle in the open floor. Pick and roll playmaking at his size is rare, as is the fluidity of his handle. Jang has developed a reliable floater in the lane, which has made him very deadly as a pick and roll ball handler. His shot mechanics look solid, but outside shooting is definitely not one of his strengths. Jang shot 27% from three-point range in the last two years, which is something to be worried about. His size and wingspan come in handy on defense. Zhang has shown impressive defensive ability on the perimeter. He still needs to add muscle to his slim frame, but he has great instincts and awareness. He had a nightmare start to the season with the New Zealand Breakers, but he had an incredible turnaround during the second half of the season, reigniting interest in him as a lottery pick. He operated with the ball in his hands more, made more shots, and was confident off the bounce and started defending at a really high rate. Jang started to show his shooting potential late in the season, hitting 13 of his last 32 three-pointers. The team that draft Usman Jang would need to be patient with his development. Physically, he isn't ready for the NBA, and his shot needs to be so much more consistent. But he has so much upside that he's worthy of a top 20 selection. The Rockets are a team with two picks in the first round that can't afford to take this gamble.